Okay, we're starting in Sefer Shai Kedusha uh, from Nakdama. Omar Hatzir Chaim Ben Kvod Harav Yosef Vital Zichron Lebron. Rav Chaim Vital. Sorry, Rav Chaim Vital says he's starting. He, Rav Chaim Vital. His name is Chaim, the son of Yosef Vital. Uh, he says, Raisi b'nei Aliyah v'hem u'atim. I saw the the Jewish pe- people that they are going up and getting close to Hashem, and they're very few. Mishtokim l'alos v'asulim nelo mimehem, minehem. They want to go up and come close to Hashem, but they don't know the proper way, the proper ladder to to reach the high levels of kedusha they're trying to reach. Visbonu b'sfarim hakedmonim, and they look in earlier sfarms, from from earlier generations. Lachapus limtzo orchos chaim to find the way. To find a way that they can they can act. Lalos nafsham shoshama elyon to lift their neshama up to their to the root of their neshama. Ledavka bo isbarach and to attach themselves to Hashem. So the looking people are looking nowadays to find how to come close to Hashem. Kirosh leimus hanitzchia keinian hanavim. This is the shleimus hanitzchia. This is the 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 tachlis, the purpose of our of our existence to come be attached to Hashem. Shekol yemeim nivduku bekonam. Now the nevim, their whole life was attached to their Creator. Uba emtsusa dveikusahu, and through the dveikus, shar salim rocha kodesh. They got rocha kodesh. Loharosam iza der iza der chilchum. Then, through the Ruach HaKodesh, they saw how to get the light. To see the secrets of Torah. Like David HaMelech Davin, he said, Reveal, uncover my eyes, open up my eyes, and I'll be able to see the secrets of Torah. And to show them uh, the proper way. So these Navim, since they were attached, they had Dvekas in Hakodesh Baruch Hu, in Hashem. Then they got Ruach Hakodesh, they got they got their Navur, and then Hashem showed them the way to go. So unfortunately, he's saying that nowadays we don't know have that. So we don't through our Dvekas, we aren't getting to Hashem, and we're not attaching ourselves and just seeing the way to come close to Hashem. After the Navim, there came the Hasidim Mishonim, Hanikroim Prushim, and they were called uh, something called Prushim. The Bikshu Lotzeis. Sorry. The Bikshu Lotzeis, Bikvosehem Shal Navim. And they wanted to do the same thing, like Navim. Ube Maglosehem. And to go in there, Lis Damos Lahem. And to. Uh, compare themselves to to do the same thing that the Navim did, even though they weren't Navim. And they uh, they went out to mountains and um, and deserts. And they separated themselves from the general population. And they left their houses. Or they were maybe posh in their houses, like they locked themselves into their in their houses, and like they're like a nomads, like people that were wandering, that no uh, no businesses, no settled, no no place that they lived in particular. And they didn't stop their whole day, all their times. They were they would pray and they would learn. They would sing, sing songs of David Amelach, say to him, that made the heart happy. Until through their tvekas, through their, their through their tefillah and learning and davening, their mind would start being attached to the upper lights. And this is how they they did all their days. Adasher. Until they lifted themselves up to the level of Raha Kodesh, and then they started getting Raha Kodesh, and they didn't stop. So, this is two stages basically. The Nevi Mishonim, they did through Dvekas, and the Nevi, and these Prushim, this later generation, they did it through a tremendous intensity in Libra Torah, learning Torah, and davening. And from that, they got uh, they got the right direction to come to Nevoah. Vadhe Yosam, Vimhe Yosam, 
כי לא רואי זה קרוי זה, לא נמצא אופנים דרכיהם ושימושיהם, ואיכא יעבדו הקדושים האלה אס השם יסבור, ונעשה גם כן אנחנו. Now, nobody, they didn't do it exactly in the same way, even though they didn't do it exactly in the same way, what exactly is the way that we're supposed to do it? Aken, nismatu halavavos, gami adios, shaldor sabay machreim. Now, over the years and generation, we started knowing less, the, and our hearts also became less open to these, to these topics, topics of Kedusha. The paschu bali roha kodesh, and the bali roha kodesh stopped um, they stopped being Bali Ruch HaKodesh. So Hema Lemenuch Osam Ozvu Oisanu Lanachos Tzmeim Gamer Evim And they left us, the, basically the Bali Ruch HaKodesh they stopped and they left us kind of all alone. Adashet Tzamach Yush Belibos Bani Adam Losser Bechach Maniflazos Until people really got to such a point where they actually gave up searching for this Chachma meaning the Chachma of Kedusha had to, had to be Miskadesh had to really come close to Hashem It's also called the Chachma of Kabbalah the Kabbalah is teaching a person how to bring Kedusha into the world Like the Ramachal says the Geder of Kabbalah the definition of Kabbalah is how Kedusha comes here in this world In other words, how Hashem acts and how he continues to sustain the world. His actions and his sustaining the world is through Kedusha. How that happens and how we participate in that, that is the study of Kabbalah. So the study of Kabbalah and the study of Kedusha is one and the same. Vehem Yimtsu, I'm continuing to read, Vehem Yimtsu Shnaim Shalosh Gagim Berosh Amir. And they found a little drops, a few drops here and there on the heads of the you know, different places. Echad Meir Vishnaim Mishpacha Mevakshim Maim Vein. People are searching for Kedusha, people are searching for the way, how to come close, and they didn't find it. Because, they didn't find it, because the vision has been sealed. It's written because it's not written in the Sefer, the way to come close to Kedusha. Meaning nobody came and explained someone, how does a person miskadish, how does a person make himself holy up to a point of Ruach HaKodesh and Nevoah. And that's what the Sefer is about. We're going to continue in the Akdama in the next year. Bezashem.